so let's start this interview by a quick self introduction please yeah. give me a self introduction ma i'm t moesh d from adani world school studying grade 8 mercury i am from andhra pradesh nellore district and uh... okay that's all okay so um moesh how did you develop your interest in mathematics ma'am actually my grandfather is max headmaster ma'am so he gave me motivation to be uh, saying like this is easy actually whatever we have hard in max we, if we give there with the foundation we can understand it so by giving the three three to four problems with examples we can understand there and we can easily solve the problems so he gave me motivation that uh, actually i was uh, scared to scared max in grade grade 2 to 3 actually he motivated me and uh, he gave he built my standard so from that time i love max okay very nice so from being scared you actually started loving max, max. because of the motivation that your grandfather gave yeah okay great very nice so how did you prepare for rnmc exam ma'am i i thought you know before few days ma'am actually my sir sunil sir gave my uh, gave me guidance Uh, so you can do it uh, try it all uh, give your best so then only you can motivate yourself and you can be ma'am and my grandfather also uh, supported me in some cases ma'am okay so um you are in which standard right now ma'am grade 8 ma'am 8 standard so there must be school activities school homework and then yeah. you have to do some physical activities you have to go out and play so can you tell me your entire routine because in this particular time you also have to study for the competition as well right so what do you do in your entire day ma'am actually i'll wake at uh, wake up at the 5:40 uh, ma'am ma'am i will uh, get fresh up up to ma'am i'll fresh up at 6:30 ma'am i'll be set ma'am and uh, i will start studying from 6:30 to 7 7 10 ma'am so that uh, so that time uh, i will study i will re- uh, revise what happened in yesterday's class after that uh, morning my bus will come i will uh, go ma'am after the I'll, in school we'll play we'll study ma'am uh, and after coming to the after coming from school i will come at 4:40 ma'am and uh, i'll play till 5:30 ma'am after that i'll fresh up and uh, i'll start from 6 6 to 7 i will study science and social ma'am from 7 7 7 to 7:30 i will eat my lunch ma'am i'll complete my di- uh, sorry dinner ma'am after that my grandfather will teach me from 7:30 to 8:30 or uh, 8 to 9 ma'am max and at the time only he'll give me guidance to practice whatever uh, will say that ma'am after that uh, from 9:30 i will revise something uh, like english hindi languages ma'am and i will uh, sleep at uh, 10 ma'am sharp you'll sleep at 10 Yeah, and when you get adequate sleep and then the routine starts again right yeah, okay this happens every day or do you take some break in between ma'am no ma'am this happens every day no breaks at all no breaks okay fine so now uh, everyone knows that rnmc competitions is a time based competition right so yeah, when ma'am. there is time involved then uh, obviously students or any other people who are solving the questions panic a little bit right so how do you manage to uh, solve a particular problem in a given time ma'am i think that it's just a problem uh, a paper can't teach a life ma'am so that uh, with that motivation i uh, actually i did not panic at all mm-hmm. I, i was uh, so happy at that time now actually now also i have less preparation so but also that i'm having so much confidence that i can attend i, I want to attend so with this confidence only at the time i thought i can write and i can give my best ma'am Okay, great. So time was never a pressure for you, right? Yeah, ma'am. You just I'm, focused on. Yeah, ma'am. We should just... focus on our study. So we we'll, yeah. time is enough, ma'am. We have so, mm-hmm. so much time, but uh, we should utilize that time without our mm-hmm. time. Mm-hmm. We should keep uh, keep the tension as uh, here, and we should uh, focus on that thing, ma'am. Yes, yes. Very nice. Now, uh, let's talk about the syllabus. Okay. Now, from the some very young age, Max is your favorite subject, right? so um which topic do you find very difficult and you were very stuck in that topic and it took a lot of time for you to master it ma'am which subject took me factorization 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 is the toughest yeah. 
thing for you i'm not toughest ma'am uh, we should use our mind ma'am means mm-hmm. which uh, which number will take us uh, correct information about that that we should uh, use a time there ma'am in there yeah. uh, sometimes mm-hmm. confusion algebraic expression some cases ma'am but not hard not on every thing right not on every time Oh. Ma'am, actually, my grandfather will support me, ma'am. He will give me easy tricks uh, so that oh. I will understand. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about uh, the easy topic. You know, easy topic in a sense, very fun topic that you like to solve and it uh, builds up the lot of interest in you. Um, that if you had to pick up one topic that you will solve any time that you want. Mom, now actually I told factorization is hard, mm-hmm. no, mom. So that mm-hmm. I will uh, fact factorization only I will do, mom. Okay, if you are given a chance, you will pick up factorization only. Yeah, mom. It doesn't matter if it's hard or easy or anything. Yeah, mom. If it's hard or easy, I'll take that only. Okay, great, very nice. Now, how did Max help you to grow as a student? Mom, Max is everywhere, mom. Uh, by seeing everything, mom, actually, I love to play cricket. Uh, the score which we had, which the runs I made, which the total wide, etc. No ball, we should count that, mom. I, Max teaches me everything. Max gave me motivation in every day. First, I was scared in Max, and I th- I thought uh, that I will take by PC. After that, uh, MPC means Max Physics Science, no, mom. Mm-hmm. So my grandfather said that Max is easy if you focus on everything. Yeah, max is easy, but every subject uh, we if we learn we'll get, ma'am. But this needs practice and brain. If we focus on that, and we should keep interest, ma'am. Without interest, nothing comes. So I focused and I keep kept that interest in that max, ma'am. So I was able to do it. Okay, have you applied max in a real world scenario apart from cricket? Yeah, ma'am. We will apply, ma'am. By ma'am, uh, for example, we'll have that uh, projector school, no, ma'am. Mm-hmm. Like that, we will do in our ground. That how much we should do in our ground. The uh, runs needed in one over, runs which we take in that over, which was a decrease, which was a less runs, which over made us uh, low and which made us high. The baller uh, speed, everything, ma'am. Bowling speed, batting speed, bat to ball speed. that all we will calculate ma'am okay so max helps you analyze things and then it also helps you to take an informed decision for the next match as well right yeah okay great now i want you to tell me what you think whenever you approach a problem okay how do you start solving that problem ma'am actually i will see the problem <clears throat> i will think that uh, which uh, which chapter it belongs to after that by seeing that we will know ma'am if that uh, terms and uh, that by seeing that only we will understand and uh, i will start i'll think for at least 5 uh, seconds ma'am and i'll start doing it ma'am okay so you read a question and then you hardly give 5 seconds to that question right yeah ma'am 5 to 10 seconds 5 to 10 seconds okay and i'll start there are, it. there are difficult questions and there are very easy questions so which question do you approach first Ma'am, first I will uh, approach the difficult questions, ma'am. So that, that uh, easy questions we can do in one uh, one to or uh, we'll call one to five uh, one uh, one in below one minute, ma'am. Difficult questions take me time, ma'am. So uh, if they gave you ten minutes, ma'am, uh, first I will see those are uh, difficult questions, and after that I'll come to easy. Easy we can do in any any time, ma'am. Yeah, it, uh, by using brain also we can say without uh, seeing the question. Yeah, ma'am. Okay. Now, uh, how do you approach negative markings? Ma'am um, means means for example, if uh, there is a set of questions, if you uh, answer a question, if the answer is wrong, then that will be marked as a negative marking. Yeah, ma'am. Okay. So, how do you approach those questions? Ma'am, um, I will approach those questions as my strongest point, ma'am. Uh, actually, in uh, we have four, ma'am. P A one, uh, term one, uh, P A two, term two. If I get that, if I got wrong in P A one, ma'am, I will practice only the the main question of that, uh, which I got. Uh, yeah, I'll keep that aside and I will practice which I was in weak. After practicing, I'll uh, practice which I was in strong and weak. After that, I will show my uh, point in term one, ma'am. Okay, fine. Now, while solving, uh, do you apply some mental math? So, do you apply some tricks? Or uh, is there any other approach while solving the numerical questions? Yeah, ma'am. We have some tricks, ma'am. If I 
a question have more than 3 to 4 tricks which which is easy and the main steps we have to take i'll take the steps which involves less steps and more information detail about the question it takes me easy ma'am okay great i heard teachers in another way and my grandfather teaches in another way i will follow my grandfather because he has more experience and uh, he has the more uh, thing uh, how about max okay so your grandfather teaches you better than the uh, yeah, yeah, class teacher, teacher <laughs> huh? because my grandfather <laughs> and there one okay very nice very nice now uh, what are your hobbies apart from uh, max i'm science ma'am science okay. is my second favorite subject ma'am i'll study science more okay have you done any projects in science yeah ma'am i got uh, all india second rank in science also ma'am okay great very nice it's so wonderful now uh, we are almost towards the end of this interview uh, yeah, can you tell some advice uh, to the students who wants to participate in this rnmc competition yeah ma'am the advice is that uh, we should not take this exam easy as we thought it's a world i think for me it's the hardest paper uh, whichever i saw in this one actually while uh, writing sometimes i think the, is this my level actually it's not my standard ma'am this is too hard but i practiced and i came so the steps which we should take is at ma'am we should never judge a book ma'am and uh, we should study so hard for this exam coming in this stage is very hard so we should focus on only studying in max at this time because this uh, this give this will give us more chance in life we can use this certificate uh, in our uh, we, in our daily life we, we can show that i got this certificate and uh, a part of that we'll get something uh, better for students we'll get some respect not like uh, ma'am money uh, will not give us respect the cadre okay. which uh, give us respect as well as my mother is ap transco de ma'am Uh, she said me that uh, money will not give you respect. Uh, whichever your job and uh, your position will give give you respect. Uh, a part of that, I will say, ma'am. First, we should know more in max. If, if we should not take it easy. By knowing max only, we should uh, do this. Ma'am. Okay, so max is the base of everything. everything. If you know max, you can do anything also, in life. Physics, physics, we need as uh, a uh, max. Max, correct. Everything, correct. ma'am. Mm-hmm. max is the foundation if you know max then you will be confident yeah, enough to face anything in life anything ma'am okay great monish it was so nice talking to you thanks for giving me this uh, opportunity you're most welcome thank you so much for coming in this podcast thank you ma'am